Hey, what's going on everybody? So, some of you may remember me from the custom iPhone charging sound, the video I made about a week ago, which exploded, by the way. Thank you very much for that. Now, I thought, why not make it with my MacBook? I have already done, and now that I have upgraded to macOS Catalina, I thought I'd show you, since it's already, since the OS is new and just has been installed, it's only like two days ago. So I thought, why not? Just change it here, show you. Okay, so first off, if you're watching this on your MacBook and you don't have another device to watch this on, then watch the whole video. Take notes and then do it. Because it's gonna be very difficult. Because you need to turn it off and just watch the video and you'll see what I mean. Now, uh, this is my MacBook here, I'm gonna show you. This is the charger, the MagSafe charger. And if I plug her in, you hear that? It's a standard sound. Which, if it doesn't show to you, I'm going to show you right now how to enable it. Because it's sometimes, at least with my MacBook, it didn't come, uh, 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 it wouldn't sound when I plug it in. So I'm going to show you, if yours isn't active, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So first off, you open a new terminal window here. Also, I'm not doing this recording my screen on my MacBook because I want people to believe me <laughs> that I did this. Okay, so here it is. Now, you want to type the following. You want to type default write com dot apple dot dot power chime with the capital letters space chime on all hardware I'm going to show you a screenshot of this command line after I'm done, be right before I hit enter. So, uh, hardware, space, dash, boo, space, true, um, this, I don't know the name in English, so, yeah, I'm sorry, space, open, slash, system, slash, library slash core services slash power chime dot app and then that a y or whatever it's called I'll show you from close up so as I said defa defaults right come dot apple dot power chime chime on all hardware dash boo true um I don't know how to say that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not native from from England or anything. Um, space open that uh, slash system slash library slash core services slash powershine dot app and then uh, that thing I don't know what's called. And though we got that out of the way, I'm gonna leave it in the description so I can take a screenshot of this real quick. I'll just leave it in there in my desktop and I'm gonna copy. It. I'm gonna send it to someone just so I can copy it later. Oh, I don't see that. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, you're gonna hit enter. And that's gonna. Now that it's done, it should sound. So. Yes, it indeed does sound. Now, if the changes don't. I mean, if it doesn't sound immediately. You need to restart your computer. I think I didn't have to to do it, so it works for me. But of course, if you want to to undo this, you just gotta be the same thing. But still, instead of true, you wanna type in false. So here, oh, this is gonna take an eternity. Now here, instead of true, hit false, and it will undo it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna turn off the system integrity protection. Now, don't worry, this is not gonna do anything bad to your computer. It's just gonna allow us to do further changes in the software, I mean, in the OS. So, first off, close all of your apps. I like to delete everything from my dock. And in here, you wanna shut down your MacBook. So, shut down. Also, this video is sponsored by Red Bull. Actually, they're not, I just, I just like Red Bull drink it all right now that is totally off I'm gonna show you guys 
what you're gonna do right now. Now you get it. Press the power button, and right after you do that, press the, the keys Command and R. It's gonna turn on the computer in uh, in this mode. Cause I forgot about it. I forgot its name, but I know it begins with R. So yeah. So three, two, one. Wait for the chime. And after you see the Apple logo, you can let it go. And after you see the Apple logo is late, you're you're ready on the recovery mode. Yeah, that recovery mode. Then you're gonna wait for the little bar to get filled, and now you can do it. I mean, after that you can do it. Can you do it already? Damn. Damn it. What did I do? <laughs> okay, don't worry. There's nothing bad done this a couple times already this is the menu where you reinstall the OS look there Mac OS recovery it is not the thing I said before this recovery mode so now you're gonna type in your password type in your password and now you're able to join in Mac OS utilities this is the special part now you gotta here are some special special menus all right here you want go into utilities and on terminal this is the same one but we're gonna do a little trick that allow that will allow us to do the thing we want to do sorry shows us on on light mode I like dark mode more than light mode but it's not allowed on the recovery menu okay now you want to type CSR util disable now as I said that's to turn off the system integrity protection so you want to hit enter and, and as it says successfully disable system integrity protection please restart the machine to uh, for the changes to take effect now you want to quit this command quit again and you want to restart your computer as normal and now you just wait there's the chime and it should boot up like normally just that if you ever restart it again as I'm gonna do many times as you restart it once it's going to automatically re-enable that so don't worry it's not much of a problem it's just to modify stuff in the OS and if something happens you need to make a time machine copy I make a time machine backup just in case something happens and whatever you have to reinstall the OS or something it's always good to have a backup okay now I'm in my desktop perfect now what you want to go ahead and do is press shift command G and it'll, it'll say where do you want to go it shows that the last thing I looked for was a, a slash you want to type that if you don't know how to type it is shift 7 as it shows it changed because I just typed it you want to hit enter or go and here's the important part. Do you remember the the thing that we enabled earlier? The chime data? Well, you want to look that up. And that's exactly here. In system, and library. And here you want to look up for core services. So here it is, core services. Now, here's the important part. You want to look up for the thing that we saw earlier, the chime.app thing. Should be around here. Where are you now? Here, power chime. Then you want to go ahead and, and right click, or you can always type, I mean, press control and click. You want to go to show package contents. There, now on context, contest, con contents, I'm sorry. You're going to, what the fuck, to resources. And here, this is the file that we want to replace. Now, you want to have your file ready right now. I mean, you can just minimize this, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to what I'm going to use. I'm going to import it from my iPhone because I like the sound I'm going to be using. So I already have the sound. You can download it from whatever you want, from YouTube or whatever. But now I'm going to show you the magic of iCloud. So this is the audio. I actually already have the name. Connect underscore power. So I'm just going to go ahead. And share it. I'm gonna airdrop to my MacBook. So airdrop because I don't wanna wait for the thing to to show us uh, iCloud. So yeah. Now MacBook Air. There you go. 
I should be in the download folder. So there you go. Connect the, the underscore power dot mp3. There you go. Now you wanna uh, right click it and then rename it. And here the, you're gonna change the mp3 to AIF. And it'll, it'll say, yo, you sure? You're gonna say, yes, sure. Here's the sound. I like that one. Now, I'm gonna put this window here and show this one right here. Kill all and then find her. Don't forget the, the capital letters, it, it is very important. So here we go, enter. No much in process. Hmm. I mean, you can always close everything and hit Alt Command. Well, Option Command Escape. And it'll show you this little menu, and you're gonna hear I relaunch the Finder. And just like that, it's been relaunched, so you, could, you should already be able to move it. So now it requires a password. So you wanna un unthenticate it. Now, you want to connect it, you want to move it? Yes, I do want to move it. Now, it says, another item call, named connect underscore power dot AIF already exists in this location. You want to replace it with the newer one you're moving? And you're going to say, yes, I want to replace it. And you want to type in your password. Enter. Now that's done. It should work right away. So let me plug in my... Look, and it works. This is perfect. Now you can do anything you want. You're gonna be, let's say, you're in your college or university, and so and you're like, oh crap, my MacBooks is dying. And you say, hey, can you put me your, the charger? And they're gonna be freaked out because your MacBook is like a lowly. Nice. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thanks, Tom, for watching. I'm gonna leave all the, the terminal stuff down below in the description. If you need to copy and paste it, then you can do that, or you can just write it down. If you don't have, if you only have your MacBook and you want, and you really, really want this, I've seen many cases like that. So thanks, Tom, for watching. I uh, hope this one blows <laughs> too, like the other one I did. And yep, that's it. Bye.